This morning, the Chinese city of Wuhan on lockdown. Flights canceled, trains halted, highways blocked by police, and preventing long lines of cars from leaving. The city of 11 million people at the epicenter of a viral outbreak, now cut off from the outside world. Our crew left Wuhan before dawn, passing mass transit buses just parked on streets. It's not just travel in and out of the city that's affected, it's everything within Wuhan as well. At the airport in the hours before the shutdown. So it's difficult to travel around today due to the virus. We found long lines, temperature checks, and virtually everyone wearing masks. Some people died already, so yeah, a little nervous. For days, the scale of the crisis has widened here. The virus showing up across China, in other countries in Asia, and halfway around the world in the U.S., a family now being quarantined in Los Angeles after showing symptoms when they arrived at LAX from Mexico City. The one confirmed case of coronavirus in Seattle in good condition, but concern now for 16 people he had contact with. In China, the shutdown creating travel chaos as hundreds of millions are on the move for the Lunar New Year, forcing officials to take drastic steps. Trying to contain a city um, of 11 million people um, is new to, uh, to science. Little is known about the virus traced to this market that illegally sold live animals for consumption. NBC News obtaining these photos taken in December. The market now closed down. Over 600 people are infected, being treated by health workers in hazmat suits. Masks are selling out across the country leaving a normally busy city known as the Chicago of China to cope with emptying shelves, mounting fears, and the world's attention.